Guys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rasponi. We're here at Superior Bait and Tackle. We made our little trip right now. This morning it's a little slow now, but uh, we've already had people come in. And guess what they're looking for? They're looking for Sackalay jigs. This is the word this week, Sackalay. Sackalay. You looked in the paper, Joe Macaloosa, anywhere you look on Sportsman Magazine, Right now, Sackalay is turning on all over the state, from way up north all the way down here to the south, and by a black area, the Chaffala Spillway area. The story this week is Sackalay, and especially fishing with Coach Dawson Odom. Coach Dawson Odom, the head coach at Southern, they're getting ready to have their start their football season in a week or so, playing their first game. You can believe that? Here we are, we're playing a spring season, and uh, they're going to, even if things go right, they're even going to have a fall season. So Coach has been real busy. He loves to fish. We took him out two or three times, but uh, this was his first trip. We're going to rerun it back. There's Chaffalai Spillway with Blaine Salters and our good doctor that fishes all those tournaments. We were using the live scope. I hope I'm saying it right again, but everybody's talking about it right now. They're using them at Toledo Bend up north in Lotto. Uh, won't be long. I'm about to find me one. I'm going to save my money, but uh, they work. So stay tuned. For Paradise, Louisiana, we got a bass uh, tournament report, a short one, and a short fishing report. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana from Superior Bait and Tackle. We'll be right back. Uh, my name is James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing. And she's like, ah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now. And he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? <laughs> Who the heck is Benny? Welcome to another episode of Paradise, Louisiana, coming from the Spillway in South Louisiana. We hope you enjoy. You ready, Coach? You ready, Dick? Let's go. Okay, me and Doc right behind
and we're trying to put this together. This, this is Dr. Baker Vinci, originally from St. Francisville, Louisiana. Dr. Vinci. Yes, sir. You're a competitive fisherman. I am. Some just of the circuits you fish, tell me. Exactly. A uh, little crappie masters tour we have in Louisiana, which is kind of, uh, there are a bunch of those across the states. Uh, there's one in North Louisiana, South Louisiana, and, and I think each state probably has one or two of them. And uh, you can fish in those and qualify for tournaments that are later in the year, uh, crappie masters tournaments. And the top finishers in those get to go to big events, big pro events. So there's some vested interest in doing that. <laughs> You got all the equipment that bass fishermen have. I was looking here, and uh, they tell me this week you spotted a big school of crappie here. We did uh, indeed. We, we did indeed. I, I, uh, this show's supposed to be about Coach Odoms and Blaine Salters, but he, he for some reason, he, he wants to showcase you too, so. <laughs> I don't know why, but. Let's go well, catch some. Let's do, let's do. I don't want to give you spots away. <laughs> but you tell him go fish a certain log. You was here what day? I was here two days ago, and that log was stacked with crappie. On top and bottom, I would say it had 200, 300 crappie on it, and I pulled probably eight or ten off of it. And uh, so I left some there. We don't, we don't take too many. We are looking forward at this log right there. And these are crappie on that log. Let me narrow these are all crappie. And there's a gar up top waiting to, you know. I'm looking at fish anywhere from six feet down. And that log kind of goes slanted, obviously. That's probably 20 or 30 right there. Yeah, because you got a glass. Mm -hmm. How about now? Oh, I see it. Okay. Ooh, they, they piled up. Mm. There are a bunch of fish on the screen, y'all. How big a jig you throwing, Blaine? Just a standard little two jig with a trailer. Like what size, how size, what size is it? 16th ounce? Yeah, I've got a uh, 130 second. Oh. There you go. Show me, show me what you're doing already earlier this morning. Got to. Hydrate, hydrate. Be sure coach got enough. I got to this log. Good one. Go ahead, man. Monster. Show me, Dickie. Oh, there you go. That's you a slab. Go. That's a good fish. That's a slab, Dick. Nice. Did you catch him? That's it. Right here. I'm glad I've been getting hung up. My weed guard got caught off. Oh. You want me to put it on ice? Look at that. Not bad fish. Show you the Bring it out. Hold it out toward the camera. They're stacked. Don't throw them back. Guys. JB, come on, you've been to all them good shows. John Jackson, and John DeBuke. You hold the fish correctly. There please. you go. Hold there it you correctly. Go. Put him on ice. <laughs> Put him on ice. <laughs> Man, we can't keep that little one. Oh. I'm amazed at how many Sackle guys don't use their electronics at all. Look at Coach. Oh, oh hey, man! On the left. Look at that! Yeah. It's a baby there, man. It is, but we know you're. Yeah, you might have to go up there to Alcorn and catch them big crappies. Look, yeah. look at that anchovy, Coach. I'll Hold him toward the camera so he looks bigger. Hold him towards the camera. Throw it at me. You gotta hold. It. Hey, throw it. They catch him, man. Oh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> look, we're gonna right here. we're gonna put you back. There's a log right here. Look. First one I caught in a long time. What? <laughs> hey, you see if this one going back in the water. He ain't no monster. <laughs> Stick him back in that ice chest back there, Gary. Look, look. It's one pound plus. How many you got, Coach? That's a pig. That's what you're after. Oh, hold that up toward nice. the camera. Y'all catch him that big, North Carolina, Coach? You do? That's a, that's a fillet. That's a sandwich. Give me a thumbs up, coach. Hold him out. 
Take some pictures. Come on, I got to see, see that ride, man. Look at Dawson. Oh, yeah. Underneath the bottom. Bro. Right there. There you go. Hold it up for us, Coach. Look at it, Coach. <laughs> you good. I ain't gonna let you down, Gary. Come on. Get them little ones out of the way. Here you go. Look at it. Turn where the sun is shining on the fish. There you go. Oops, sorry. Yeah, well, turn a little bit more. Oh, there you swallowed go. that. That was a I hit. Swallowed. That was a hit, Jack. Oh, wow, you ain't joking. <laughs> You died. I think, oh, mine, I got my pole out. I didn't catch that one. Good. <laughs> Where are you going? He's trying to go in the ice chest. Oh, Coach did catch that one. Look at it. Coach catching all of them. Boy, y'all, he's strapping it on you. a trailer on there that sent it. He is a rookie. He's strapping it on you. I don't mind. Well, Coach right here is Look. using a 19, probably 85 model that Gary broke out of his uh, garage somewhere. It's almost in mint condition. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get it off of him uh, when the trip's over, but, you know, Coach is, uh, he's very coachable, I can tell you that. I spent about five minutes with him and he's wearing us out today. He's caught all the big fish, but uh, his technique's really good. And, you know, Coach, where did you grow up? How did you grow up loving outdoors? Uh, you talked about it a little bit earlier. Uh, Shelby, North Carolina, I'm a country boy. My dad used to take me catfishing. We used to fish at ponds and we used to fish for crappie and we used to cart for prize fishing. So, you know, that was just another way for me to capitalize on on my energy and how I love the outdoors. Uh, fishing is just calm, it's peaceful, and, you know, I, I get very locked in. So I try to focus on my job and, and not get too distracted, but I, I really love to do it. I don't get a chance to do it as much. I sort of substitute it with golf, so but I love when I get a chance to be on the water. But boy, talking about football coming up, I'm sure he finally gets to get away and do a little fishing, but uh, tell us a, a little bit about the up and coming football season. Springtime, Jazz gonna be playing on the bluffs in the springtime. Uh, we got an opportunity, uh, SWAT commissioner came out and made the announcement a couple weeks ago that's gonna give us an opportunity to play in the spring. I think with COVID-19 going on, I think it's the best thing to to probably do for the safety of the players, fans, and all that involved. Uh, I think it's gonna give us more time to, to to get more medicine and even a vaccine before we get to 2021. So we're looking forward to playing uh, in the springtime of 2021. Springtime football season. Boy, things have changed in the last six months. You're gonna give him a little more time to get on the water too, man. Uh, One thing that has changed is that you see a lot more families coming together in the boat. Uh, the kids can't go play soccer or somewhere, you know, they're not doing travel ball or traveling other states and everybody's fishing. And it's been, it's been a good sight to see. And it's a, sometimes it's a hard. If you don't have time to fish during the week and you're a weekend warrior, there's a lot of people in the water. But uh, you, you know, uh, all over the country, not just Louisiana, but license, people buying license up 50% sometimes. Uh, how is it helping your business with your jig and pole? We've seen tremendous growth because, number one, either it, it was older customers that, that didn't have time to fish, so now they have more time and everybody's going back to fishing. So we've seen a huge influx of just from every age group, from kids all the way to your 60 and 70, everybody's fishing right now. So anybody in the fishing rod business, it's been a great six to eight weeks, but, you know, with everything that's going on in the with COVID, you know, we just can't wait till this starts to get back to normal, that's for sure. Well, we rounded up a good trip today with Paradise, Louisiana. We want to thank Coach, Southern Jaguars, Go Jags, my brother-in-law, Richard Lejeune, Dr. Vinci, putting us on the logistics and showing us how, you know, we fished old school today and then we went over to Live Scope and this is where it's going. Got a good mess of fish and a three or four hour trip. Enjoyed my time. Appreciate it, Mr. Gary. It's always great hospitality. Thanks for having me. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative.
been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Let me, let me give you some quick news items that you need to check on. Uh, CCA, right now, they, uh, it was too late now to probably touch. Should have told you all last week, but they're back doing some of their live on Facebook. Uh, and it was on the 9th, and we're taping this on the 8th, so you won't get to see it. But there's a lot of things coming up in CCA. They got this Sporting Clay Classic in March 26th, going to be a cover rise. And you can also, the most important thing, you can register for the STAR. STAR is out. You go to their website. You can find any information you want. Don't forget, CCA STAR. Boy, they had a rough year last year, but they always come out on top. They do a great job. Uh, right now, we've got the South Louisiana Crappy Masters Tournament. It's going to start next Saturday. It's coming Saturday, February 13th, and that's going to be out of Bayside. I uh, gave you a list. You'll see it on the thing. Uh, you can go to their website, and you can see all the tournaments that are coming up in South Louisiana Crapping Masters. The Carnarvon Bass Trail starts on February the 20th. The following week, they got the same stone, the times, and the places. Same thing on their website. And Bass Pro, they took, they're starting their U.S. National Bass Fishing Tournament, so you can go to their website or go to one of the stores and you can find out all information about them. So that's the news. We come back. We got a short but a good one. Paradise, Louisiana Fishing Report. Berkeley, Abu Garcia. We'll be right back. Okay, Brett. Safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Uh, Y'all probably saying, well, what happened to the hunting report? Well, the main thing about the hunting report right now, I didn't get anything last week. I didn't get any more words from the ducks, but all I can tell you is that they've got a conservation hunt that's starting pretty soon, and uh, it's, it's going on right now. You find somebody, or you can do it yourself if you're seeing a lot of uh, snow geese around, and you can hunt them. Also, you know, rabbit and squirrel, 
That's what the rabbit hunters been waiting for. They're waiting for all them deer hunters to get out, get out of the woods and everything. So right now, and let me tell you what, rabbit hunting has been scarce. The people I know running rabbit dogs, can't find them. I don't know what's the reason, but uh, uh, it's nothing like it's been a few years ago. So, so we, we're going to find out, find a little bit more about where all the rabbits at and what's going on with the rabbits. You know, there's another thing when I go and talk about the fishing report. All summer, I was fishing. You know, I had fish in the spillway. I had fish in the lake with rat. We had brim trips, bass trips. I ain't see a snake. I ain't see a water snake. I ain't see a snake once. I don't know what was the reason for that. I, I, I was looking down here, I've been talking to everybody. Have you seen snakes? Now, I heard people <laughs> right now that, you know, this time of year, you got to be real careful when you're walking in them woods, especially with rabbit hunting. We used to see them moxing, especially when we had a lot of water. We killed moxing and rattlesnakes last year like crazy. But uh, I don't know where it's at. So let, let, me, let me start off with, with the fishing report now. And um, we'll go by, start off with Sacale. That's the hottest thing going right now. I got reports from my good friends over there at, at, uh, up north. And, and, and I'm talking about Toledo Bend right now to catch them. All these lakes coming back down. I hear they catch them at Darbone. I heard they catching them all over. But uh, Brendan Dubrock, uh, one of our staff, or one of our people that does our website, he, he started a guide service now. His slab masters us. Slab busters, I forget whatever it's called, but he's over there in Lotto. And uh, you ought to see the pictures, the fish they're catching right now. They eat a spawn and they're full of eggs. He sent us some pictures of a monster. Uh, he is also having a lodge that probably be ready at the end of March or April where you can stay there and do that. They clean your fish, they do it all. And there's other guides over there on Lotto. And then uh, you, you can call and make trips. Same thing with slab, uh, with uh, my buddies over there, Blake's swallowing them. They do the same thing over there, straps and stringers. So you, you just, you call in them if you want to go catch them, and that's not that far. It's not like going all the way to Toledo Bend, and they're catching a lot, a lot of fish. Uh, the spillway, I just had a man come here right now. They're back around catfish. They're catching fish and catfish, and, and uh, all in a uh, by long, a uh, little pigeon, big pigeon, all up in, in the canals, the main canals, they're catching fish down in the Bell River area. Uh, they're going over there in the Postillion area. They're catching sackle, and they, they're all over. By Black, below them, and by Black Marina, all in, up in there, Copper Saw, they're all catching sackle in those areas. Where I'm, where I'm coming from in Slidell, all them lakes over there, they're catching sackle. All them little places, all them little canals back up in, uh, in, in Tofunky River. All those people over there, they're catching sackle. Right now, sackle is the hottest thing going. So, uh, and some of the hottest baits have been the Bobby Garland, the Blue Ice, and there's Taffalai Spillway to still the blue and white. Tube jig is just as good as anything. And a guy was telling me the other day, he said, he'll stick with him, do that. The guys that are fishing these tournaments right now and scouting, a lot of them are fishing that blue ice, that Bobby Garland, and it's sponsoring. But then I'm hearing other words of man just come in just now. They still use short shoes and black. But right now, because the water's dingy, blue and white, blue and white. That's the Sacolade report I'm getting. Uh, if you want to send me another report, Gary at Paradise, Louisiana, I'll put it on the on a thing. A lot of y'all want to be secret and don't say too much about where you're fishing, but I'm going to do it. Uh, bass, same thing. They're turning on the different areas of catching bass. Bass are still going crazy over there in, uh, in the Pontchartrain area, in the Mystico, and all up in there in the intercoastal. They, they're fishing them canals. You find them little grass beds and uh, where the, the grass coming out, you fish on the edge of the grass or you use top water or spoons and stuff, they're catching bass in there. Still the best bait, these guys that are fishing on the island marina, they're coming to the landing with a lemon of bass every time. They're catching their redfish, and they might catch a few speckled trout when they're looking for them. But right now, reds and bass, best thing, they're filling the table up over there at island marina. And, and the other landings, too. 
Best bait, <laughs> live shrimp under a car. I don't know what it is, but it is. When I was fishing, we fishing with Matrix Shad and uh, without a spinner. He just working them around there. My buddies, then them uh, fishing at Perry Barras and them, you seen what we fishing with last week. It's the same thing. It's that Matrix Shad in those two colors, the magenta and the other one. It's a new, it's a new shad color. It's a beautiful axe. It's longer. Beautiful action, swims harder with no movement at all. So you go to look at, uh, you know, with Chaz's website, and you can see how he's using, how he's catching everything on it. He catches them in Lake Ponson Train. I be a boy can make a fish, and he gives you a lot of information, and he also shows you where. And uh, I haven't gotten any word offshore last week. I haven't, haven't gotten any word, but I do know people are catching. Looking for trout, I knew they're catching them in the lake. Lake Ponce Train, they're catching trout, they're catching them low. Uh, I'm gonna keep it short, so we had a lot of things going on right now. Uh, if you got a fishing report, be sure to send it to Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. Make sure the picture's good or Chris won't use it. Make sure the sun's at your back in the, in the, in the people's face. Be sure you send me a name and a report. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. God bless Louisiana. Stay safe. That stuff's still going on. The more and more vaccines get out, pretty soon we're going to be back to normal. Boy, let's pray for that. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Don't forget to come. Superior Bait and Tackle. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.